To apply a process to an image, we can click the Apply button at the bottom of the process window or press F5. When we click the button, the process is applied to the active image. We can undo and redo the process using the Undo and Redo buttons on the left of the toolbar at the top. If we activate this image now, we can apply the same process to it. We can also apply a process using the New Instance button. This button gives us more flexibility because it has a lot more functions. To use it, we click and drag the button and drop it on the image we want to apply the process to. This means we can apply the process to images other than the current active image. We can use the New Instance button to apply this Curves Transformation process to a preview in the same way by hovering the cursor over the preview selector, then dropping it on the view. Now let's imagine that we want to apply these curves to one of the previews of the image at the back, but the selectors aren't visible because of the way the image windows are arranged. To bring the image to the front, we can click the New Instance button, drag it over the image window, and press Shift. The image window comes to the front, and we can apply the process to the preview. If we press and hold the Shift key, the cursor brings the image window it is hovering over to the front. If we decide we don't want to apply the process after all, we can cancel the new instance by pressing the Escape key. We can cancel autocomplete actions in the same way. For example, if we're using image integration and we've selected a list of files to drag, when we're halfway to the process window, we can press the Escape key to cancel what we're doing. The New Instance button also works across different workspaces. Here, for example, the Histogram Transformation window is showing the histograms of the image in the other workspace. We can adjust them and drag the New Instance button to the selector of the workspace that contains the image and then to the main view. We can also use the New Instance button to create process icons. To do this, we drag the button and drop it onto the workspace background. When we drop it, we create a process icon, which is a small icon encapsulating the process we've just configured. The process icon takes up very little space on the workspace and contains all the parameters of the process we've configured. If we reset the tool, we can double-click on the process icon to recover the parameters. We can even reset the tool, close it, and double-click on the process icon to reopen the process window with all the parameters we configured earlier.